Turn on the Mac computer and log into your MyMRU account. Turn the Scarlet interface on. Audio will play via the Scarlet interface. It is preferred to use headphones in the room when possible. You will need a quarter inch gold adapter to use with the headphones. Borrow headphones and a quarter inch adapter from the service desk or use your personal headphones. Adjust the volume by turning the knob above the headphones. Be mindful if there's a group recording beside you in 2L. Opt for headphones whenever possible. If you are using the speakers, you must make sure it is at a respectful volume. Turn up and down the speaker volume by turning the monitor knob. Mute the speaker while recording by pressing the mute button. The speaker light is green when they are turned on. If not, turn on the speakers using the switch at the back of the speaker. If you are using the MIDI keyboard, turn it on using the switch at the back. The studio microphone mounted in the room is already connected to the Scarlett interface via input 5. Make sure that the gain for input 5 is turned up. Ensure that the phantom power is turned on for inputs 5 to 8. Position the microphone close enough to what you are recording, about 6 inches away for speaking. Open your software of choice and select input 5. Check that you aren't peaking and that you are not seeing the recording meter turn red when speaking or sitting normally. Turn down the microphone gain knob for input 5 if you are peaking. If you are adding additional microphones to your recording, you can borrow microphones from the service desk along with stands and XLR cables. Insert the mics into input 1 or 2. Leave phantom power off for inputs 1, 2, 4. Most of our microphones do not require phantom power. Adjust the input gain accordingly. Make a folder for your project on the desktop. Here you will import any files you were working with and save your project file. Once you are done your project, copy your entire project folder to your H drive, Google Drive, or external drive. For guides specific to each software, search for the software name in the Technology Supports page under Research Support on the library webpage.